Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Chuck. It's AKA Malik. And we're going to switch over now. We're going into the realistic missions from hackthissite.org. Uh, there's some very, very nice missions inside of here. Uh, I mean, the, the basic missions are, are great. They definitely get you a, a really good understanding of uh, modifying HTML code, um, dealing with uh, Firebug, um, some Unix commands, uh, some injections. Now we're going to deal with a, a, a larger uh, type of project, but these, these first couple are, are fairly short. So, let's take a look at this one. And again, I'm going to do the same thing that I did uh, with the, the basic missions. I'm going to give you a couple of hints, uh, and especially if you've gone through the basic missions. I'm going to give you a couple of hints see if you can figure it out from there if not you can continue to watch the video and we'll complete it together so, right, so the very first one here under the realistic missions is Uncle Arnold's local band review so we're going to take the challenge so we have a message here from from Heavy Metal Ryan it says hey man I need a big favor Remember that website I showed you once before, Uncle Arnold's band review page? Well, a long time ago, I made a $500 bet with a friend that my band would be at the top of the list by the end of the year. Well, as you already know, two of my band members died in a horrendous car accident. This asshole still insists that the bet's on. I know you're good with computers and stuff, so I was wondering, is there any way for you to hack the website and make my band on the top of the list? My band is Raging Inferno. Alright, so let's take a look at Uncle Arnold's band review page. Okay, so here we go. So we have some particular bands. You know, and there's a vote. You know, one through five. And then we can tell here, of course, there is a, a band ranking that, that probably calculates up, you know, if, if somebody gives them a five and they figure out how many votes there are and they come up with an average. Well, the one, of course, we have Killing Mr. Ape, there's Raging Inferno, and they're all the way down here with a 2.314. Okay, and the top band is 23. So, we need to get them up here, higher than 23. Alright, I'm going to tell you, you've, you've already done this, if you went through your basic missions. You did it, I don't remember the exact uh, basic number, but it was actually two of them. The one where we went in and where we changed Sam's email address to our email address. It's the exact same thing. So if you can remember what you did there, do exactly the same thing here. It's it's only it gets a little bit trickier if you don't understand what the HTML line looks like for this drop down box. But Again, if you're in if you're in Firefox, there it's, it's, it's still Firebug, but it's now really their dev tools. Um, I can go down here and I can inspect the element or inspect the element with Firebug, and it will kind of bring it down inside of here. So I can kind of drill down, you know, inside the body, uh, and and take a look at, at everything that's going on. Okay. So use that. So just kind of start off that. Inspect the element. Take a look at it. Take a look at the code. And see if there's something that you can change to give them more points than what that drop down box does. So I'll give you a minute or so to think about it. Give you this, again, that whole dramatic pause there. So I'll just pause for a minute to give you a chance to, to pause the video. Uh, go play around with it, and then uh, if you can't figure it out, come back. We'll do it together. Or if you did figure it out, come back, and maybe I figured it out a different way. So, give you a sec. Okay. So, let's take a look at this. Now, I'm going to bring this up some, so it'll be a little bit easier to see. Now, in this new version of Firebug, it's, it's a little bit trickier because kind of everything is, is collapsed by default. So this is the part for the Raging Inferno link. 
Uh, that's the little sentence that we see there. In fact, let me scroll down where you can see it. That's the sentence there. This is a self-proclaimed hardcore metal band. Yada yada. Yeah, this little section here, that's just the indent. Alright, there we go. There's uh, part of the vote button. And there's a little section here. And you see when I roll over that line, you see what it highlights? It highlights that drop-down box. So if I expand that, this is what we're looking at. We're looking at these four lines. It says option value equals 1, and then there's a 1. Option value equals 2, and then there's a 2. Value equals 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, and 5. The black numbers that are in between the carrots, in between the, the greater than and less than sign, that's just the number that you see in the drop-down box. That means absolutely nothing. That's what the user sees. It's the numbers in red that are the actual value that is passed back to the server. So let's say I go down here to number 5. If I double click it and change that to 999, Okay. it's still going to say 5. So when I go up here, I'm still going to see the 5. But what it's going to transmit is 999. So by doing that, he gets one vote that normally would have been 5, and it's going to give 999 points for it, which is going to be way more than enough to throw him in first place. So I'm going to do a 5, and I'm going to vote. Now, I've already done it, so it's going to say you've already done this, go on, but by you guys doing that, you have now modified the code, and you can pull this off a lot more than you think. Anytime you have to submit something to a server, you can change the submit. You can change the parameter and send up a parameter outside of what they have hard-coded into it. It's, it's really the, the, the basis of doing buffer overflows. So, there we go, guys and ladies. That is uh, realistic mission number one. Be on the lookout. Realistic mission number two is coming up. I will tell you, just so you can go ahead and get ready, realistic mission number two is uh, about a racist hate group. Take a look at SQL injections. You have to know SQL injections. Mainly the line that with the main line that you'll use to do a SQL injection. And you'll be able to get through this one very, very quickly. Alright, so until next time my friends, this is Chuck. If you like the videos, please give them a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of these things as well as some other ones dealing with the, the damn virtual web app. Um, I'm going to throw in some more Metasploit ones, uh, playing around with a couple of virus tools like a uh, uh, worm maker thing. Um, got a lot of things coming up that's going to be pretty interesting. So uh, definitely like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys want. I'm here to, here to make these videos for you and make this stuff fun. And hopefully you'll learn some things in the process. So until next time, my friends, I will see you.